Good evening and welcome back to the crust where I was wondering why the story wasn't continuing and it's because I had that hidden there and didn't realize I have to actually um, reset, uh, extract 900 uh, blocks. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to get this going and doing thing here. Uh, I'm not sure where they're mining or what they're doing, but I've got miners doing things. So They're off somewhere else now. Okay, yeah. Um, I have tried to mine out and square off basically the entire area. So, so, yep, we're going to square off the entire area we got there. But once we get 900 mined, it'll be fine. Um, it's still dark out. So, uh, oh, wrong button. That one it's still dark out to the, uh, we haven't got there yet. Um, and it tells you here as well. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know when I shrunk those, but I shouldn't have shrunk those. I guess I did it by mistake at some point and just forgot it was there. So, yeah. Okay. Let's speed up some time and uh, let's research, let's extract another 10 pieces and we'll see how it goes. Awesome. Okay, we're ready. Director, use the room planner tool and lay down a room of the required size. Okay. Reach the room building, mind to repair future. Yeah, I, I did this already. Yep. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, several technical modules needed for the colonist living condition. Uh, try separate and sleeping quarters and production areas in advance. After all, want the staff to come and work well rested. Uh, yeah, uh, but no. Um, so, yeah, um, it Provide says build. Rooms with materials and complete the construction. Keep a close eye on the supply of steel and concrete and repair modules of the product chains in a timely manner. Also, you can convert drones back from miners to speed up the building process. Yeah, the biggest thing is, is that it's, um, uh, it needs to be there. It says build a room. It didn't, didn't give me, I, I think the size was 10 by 10, but I did a 15 by 15 and it's accepted that. So we're good. Um, I did jump the gun there because I, I forgot that this was here. So, um. That's why the story was not continuing, but that's okay. That's fine. We don't have any uh, smart concrete. We don't have anything going on like this at all here. Um, uh, we don't have any, so yeah, so. Okay. We do have uh, something here that we can scan. Um, so I wanna do that, I wanna do that. Let's connect our scanner to the grid so we can get some power. It does say we're wasting science points. Let's click on this and have a look. See, that's uh, that type this here. Uh, so we are not using our fundamental science. So you see, we've researched everything in fundamental, but we've not researched anything more for that. Uh, what else could we get? Um, we want these. CPU data set, I'll click that. Um, let's add the license as well. We want that, but that's not fundamental. Ah, it's fine. We're wasting it, yeah, but again, I don't have anything um, that I can build with it, so. Uh, so, okay, so we need to, we know this is iron, we can tell it's iron, but we need to scan it before we can do anything with it. Uh, so, um, let's first and foremost wait for daytime because I've made the mistake before. The ore scanner, the ore detector, um, will scan things and let you do things. It will use a minimum of 10,000 charge for a hit, and depending on how far you zoom out, depends on, so if we do this, that's going to use 100,000 of a charge. We can deal with that, but it's nighttime. So we probably don't want to be doing that right now. So let's do the smallest one we can possibly do just to get that. Let's, let's, let's do that. So if I click on the thing, boom, it will scan. It will find this is indeed iron. Awesome. But now I've done that scan, I can look around without the thing being... So, so we've got this here. So if I cancel that, it goes away. So um, if I click this, you see this pops up here and uh, we can look around. Now, let's see if I can find, ah, so, I don't know if you can see that, right here, right down here, if I move that away, can you see that little wispy glowy thing? There's another one down here as well. Um, that is ore resources, that's where ores are in the world, uh, and what we have to do is we have to come and find those things and scan them. So I'm going to have a quick look around to see if I can see any more around. They're quite difficult to see, see if you've got a... Uh, um, I want to like mine that's uh, very good blacks, but it doesn't have very good contrast changes. So um, also probably need to clean. Plus I got light behind me, which doesn't help as well. That's reflecting for it. So, but I can see one here and one here. So if I was to scan there, I should get two. One here, one here. Ping, ping. Two iron. Awesome. More iron. So that's nice. Um, and that's how you scan and find things. You can just scan around. You can just choose to scan in all the 
cardinal directions and, and find things that way if you wanted to. Um, so, and that will work. That will work just fine. Uh, see here, I'm mind stuff here. So this, this is fine as well. Um, but um, uh, yeah, if you look for those little wispy things, you can find resources more quickly. And then when you come to the mining things, it will show you where they are. So we're going to ironically dig right up to one and then stop before we get there. It also tells you where rare earth metals are. They gave us a wreck instead of a base. In such a state, it's completely uninhabitable, so we shouldn't rely on it. We better put our efforts into building our own living quarters. Oh, okay. All right, so on the surface of the moon, oh, but uh, it's uh, so this has found the base, and the base is horrible and broken and terrible. Uh, so the one is structure. There's a paid lab, an observatory. Uh, we can still do these things. Um, so let's let's kind of investigate the uh, the modest structure, shall we? And have a look here. Um, different things provide can can provide different things. So um, like uh, if we find something that's wrecked, like the model structure, we might want to send the rover to pick up the resources and bring them back and we get a boost of resources, which is nice. Some things might require us to repair them um, and uh, we can get things from repairing them, like bonus science points and things. Uh, we can find other bases that are still technically running. Uh, like I think this paid lab is probably still working and that's a place we can send resources to to increase our research. We will okay. find out, we will find out. Okay, so, right, uh, oh, awesome, uh, we've got loads of things done here, uh, what do we want, we want a ventilation system, that's life support, we need that, uh, food, we need food, uh, water tank, oxygen facilities, we need oxygen facilities, uh, so, okay, now I know how the process works here, so let's have a look, so, the ice extractor extracts ice, the ice melter goes onto a wall of the building and melts ice, um, it down to, uh, water and uh that down to water the oxygen maker takes water and produces oxygen from it obviously uh, you unlock the oxygen dispenser which is required for the rooms ventilation moves oxygen between rooms so you're gonna need that uh, farming and cooking technologies that gives you the ability to uh make food and have a kitchen to do the food as well as some dining tables things to build down that's a water storage tank we don't really need that and there's a medical block which i think we do also need Pretty sure they said people were injured, so medical block. I did this one because I just wanted to use up the research there. Um, this will let us uh, trade. Uh, so if we click this here and we get the online market as well added to here, this will let us trade. So we can sell items for money and buy items in. However, to correspond with that, we also are going to need the landing platform, which I can't do yet because well, we're using all the resources elsewhere. So. We'll get to that. I should probably try and get to the solar panel as well. I also would like to get salvaging, which is a hidden one down here somewhere. I don't like the hidden stuff. Um, so uh, we'll have to look at that. So I might have to do that. Uh, the, the thing that annoys me is that I can't even see what it is without before researching stuff before it. I really feel like you should be able to see what it is so you know, even if it's just one layer down. So anyway, I have my reservations about that. The, the, that's that's well known. Um, let's uh, see. So fuel generator, let's just convert fuel into um, thing. You can make fuel from the uh, ice extractor um, and make uh, use ice and you can create uh, fuel, ice and silicon, please. Aha, and we have gone to our next base. So here we go. This is one of the random things we just searched. So in the crater lies a vast storage structure comprised of multiple comprised of multiple segmented modules emergency vehicles are scattered around the area a sign by the entrance indicates it's a reserve it was a reserve warehouse 4517-2075 and the cross logo makes it clear who the owner is the facility is designed for emergency use and houses a large quantity of steel smart concrete and modular frames so by going there we now receive 60 science uh, engineering science for 90 days okay Awesome. So we click here and you see there, uh, cross laboratories, uh, rover, cross research. Awesome. If we now go back to the map and we click on this, um, we can pick up all these resources from here. So they're just available. So it's emergency warehouse is by crust. We are part of crust, so we're allowed to grab it. So send, send the expedition. We'll send our cargo rover, expedition settings, and let's just go, hey, would you pick up everything? And if I say back to base, that means he'll go there, do that, and then return to the base and bring the resources back with them. So let's do that. Send, and away he'll go. And then we can send our car, our scout rover off to the next base. So let's uh, click this, right click, and go investigate, and we'll just come down here. Okay. Okay. 
awesome 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 and that's how you can get free resources just by um uh, finding things on the moon some of them will require you to like uh open a vault or something which you might have to send drones for or engineers or something like that but um uh, there are just free random things on there there's also places that require stuff like they might you know there'll be people there and they, they want help so oh huge nasty problem uh oh We're still building this here. This is taking a while to build though because it doesn't have the resources required. Um, I think the tooltip is a little bit weird on this because it's telling me that it's got. But it hasn't. It's very weird. The, the tooltip sort of. It, the green indicates to me that it does have the resources, but it doesn't. So. Um, anyway, uh, we have resources here. This is 62% iron, so this is even previous one we have so we could build another system we could build another um setup just like this uh, and have another iron production going if we wanted to so i think we will for the moment i think that's what we'll do because we have the resources to do that and we can we have we are making brick to repair the things uh, we do have unlocked now the multi red lift thing which i'd like to do but I think that requires components to repair and we currently aren't making components so before i build something that we can't repair and it shuts down everything we have let's hold off on that and let's instead just do the standard so we'll do a regolith extractor uh let's have a look see where the uh so one two three one two three so i can put two in there if i wanted to let's put that there Let's put a regular refinery in front of it. That. And I can't put the um uh smelt in front of it. Uh, because we don't have space for it. So let's move the smelter across here. And what we'll do is we will just have the belt come down to there and the belt come out of here and go into there. There we go. You are going to be doing iron. You are going to be doing steel. There we go. Uh, now, these do produce slag, you can see here. Uh, when they're full of slag, they will run out and stop working. So we need to store the slag or use the slag or do something with the slag. Uh, right now, we can't do that because we don't have the technology to do it. Uh, I think we we have actually got to the point where we've unlocked the main tech tree. So I should probably start researching some stuff um, to try and get some things going. Uh, what we got here? We've got rolling mill components factory. So we could research the components factory and that would take my worries away. Um, we should do that. We should try and get an actual production line going. So yeah, but I need I need more mine. So we're still mining stuff out. So they're mined over here. I don't know where they're mining next. I can't remember the order of stuff that I did things in. Um, where are you mining? What are you doing? Oh, they're taking out the centerpiece here that was in the way. So, yeah, cool, cool, okay. All right, let's connect you to the power grid so you can go to there. Uh, you two can connect to this one, I think. Boop and boop, there you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, uh, let's shut this down because they're putting in using the two. Let's shut that down and they're putting in using the power. We just don't need you using the power, that's fine. Uh, you're still making smart concrete, that's fine. You're still getting the stuff there, everything's still working there. So we need to build a room. So that's our next big thing that we need to do. Um, we are mining things, we are producing things. Uh, you can get resources from the uh, uh, ground up. There is an elevator, a cargo elevator. Uh, that requires a thing called module frames, which is sort of a mid-game technology, so we can't do it yet. Once we unlock the online market, we could buy them in, technically. So, yeah, okay, if we wanted to. Um, uh, so you can you can mine resources from the surface, and we want to do that. We do want to do that because if we were to, for instance, say, hey, I'd like to sell some brick. We don't have any brick, but if I want to sell some brick, smart concrete. Sorry, I told you the first episode. I call it brick. I know I would. Uh, we want to sell smart concrete. Um, our drones have to come down here, pick it up from this machine or a storage or whatever, and then go back upstairs and drop it off the landing site so they can do. 
If you were to bring the stuff directly to the surface and surround the landed site with storages, the drones only have to move a little tiny bit. There is also a building later on, uh, which um, you have conveyor belts going to. Um, I've not had much success with it, but yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, the science rover has come across something else there. Um, ALI GWO, the Automated Laser Infothermic, Interthermic, into Interferometric Gravitational Wave Observatory. Uh, a network of five observatories constructed on the moon, five observatories that were constructed on the moon with active participation from crust between 2083 and 2089. Primary goal of this project was to detect and study gravitational waves of cosmic origin. The observatories are located thousands of kilometers apart from each other, enabling research to determine where gravitational signal is originating. So it's a giant telescope just with different parts on the moon. Uh, they're talking about doing this, uh, actually building multiple telescopes on the moon to have that. We've got them on Earth. Multiple telescopes will become basically one giant lens. So uh, it was damaged by the explosion. There's still going to be valuable equipment and data regarding the nature of the recent disaster. Perhaps we're sending a rover with drones to investigate. Ah, so this is one. So let's go to the surface. Here's some, uh, so you see this has a minus rather than a plus. a plus means you can just pick things up a minus means it needs things so we have to send two drones here uh, and it will unlock it and you don't know what you're going to get you could get science from it you could get information you could get story stuff you could get who knows what however we can't do that because we have no way to set this expedition up because we don't have an expedition center that is a building uh, which is here. Um, so you'd have to research that and build that, and then that will allow your cargo rover to turn up, to pick up things it needs, and then to go off on an expedition. The cargo dock allows your rover, when it comes back with goods, to automatically drop them off in the building, and then it will go back onto its mer merry way. Right now, we've sent the cargo, the rover's come back, but it has nowhere, because we don't have a cargo dock, which is ironically this building here this is the cargo dock uh it now wants to tell it to dump so we just say hey would you come and dump all those resources you have on the floor and then once it's done that it will leave and go back to the world map so yeah. now you notice these things we can salvage but we need to research salvaging let's do that shall we salvage, which i think is i'm pretty sure it's this one here i'm not sure we can research the expedition center that there uh, the repeater, which allows us to scan things. So right now we're finding a few things on the surface, like a couple of dots around things. The uh, uh, scanner will let us scan the entire surface of the moon, um, the repeater, uh, and find all the nodes and things on the moon. So we do want to invest in that at some point as well. Quite nice to do. Uh, what else do we want to do? Let's get the solar panels going. Uh, engineering. Uh, let's get a rolling mill going. And no, let's get a component factory going instead. Do one of those uh rare earth metals as well we want to do that that'd be quite useful that would get some rare earth metals so you see the, the rover came down and dropped all the stuff there that was stuff it picked up from that mission uh, so we now have 32 steel which is awesome uh so all we need to do now is uh, so i think these are all full of steel now um and they're just waiting for brick is my guess we're out of brick and we are start filling on steel so we could do with finding Smart concrete, not brick. Smart concrete. It looks like brick. I know. I know. I keep getting that wrong. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So let's send the rover to the next place, uh, which is going to be radio traffic outside the reset. Let's go to the paid lab. Let's go here. Um, you. Let's get the paid lab. Go, 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 go. Let's do that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Research complete. We've got now drone oxide mining. Right. Ah, so if you tell drones to mine the floor, um, they will mine faster. Once you've got the extractors, I don't really know why you want to mine the floor up manually. I suppose it's a thing. Uh, you can. Yeah, you you can't do both. If you put an extractor on there, you can't can't do both. I say that. But um, I suppose it. What it boils down to is that um, uh, if you run out of power. Um, you could still get some drones mining some stuff to get something going i suppose it's like an emergency thing but if you're, all your drones run out of power uh game over i suppose game over <laughs> okay so you researched that so what's this this is the hauling drone this is not what i wanted um let's try that one it's dead so you're not knowing where the things are uh, 
um, a little awkward because I'd like I'd like the ability to salvage, but we can't do that. We don't even need to build a landing platform though, um, and that will unlock other stuff for us once we've researched um, online market. Um, we'll be able to do that, which would be awesome. Get a medical bed, that'd be fine. Uh, this is going to require some additional things put to it. Uh, also, we need ice. We need ice. So let's let's do a scan for ice, shall we? Let's have a quick look around and see um, if we got anything. Oh, 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 oh! Stop, 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 stop! Right. Okay. Uh, set the type of science points. Okay, so we have a lab, and he wants to give us some science. What science do we want? I'm going to go with social. I think that's the last one. I can't see the numbers. Uh, but the rover can provide fundamental engineering, so I'm going to go with social. Okay. Um, ah, so we can pay them. So if we pay them thirty thousand, they will give us sixty uh, science for ninety days. Fifty thousand is ninety. Nice, so, so obviously, the more we pay them, the better it is. Uh, and this one will give us four hundred science for twenty days for fifty grand. That's a hundred for ninety days. So that's nine thousand science. That is two, four, six. That's eight hundred, eight, eight thousand science. So that one's better, but slower. So if you want a big hit and quick, you got to kind of pick what I'm doing. I don't want to do any of that. Uh, I don't, I don't. Thank you very much, but I don't want to do any of that right now. Uh, that should, however, now be highlighted on the map. If I go press the red button on the map, uh, oh, it's just it's still a. Oh, it's got a, it's got the, uh, here. You can exchange your money for selected science bricks. Okay, so bump. Uh, the rover found a small structure on a hill that looked like a Hamilton outpost. So maybe something of value here. Let's go there. Investigate. Uh, you're not going to make it. Your batteries will die very soon. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So we have to build this room and we're still waiting for lots and lots of brick, which is fine. I'm also trying to find in here somewhere. I th think it's in engineering. Um, not sure where it is, but there is a, um, uh, a smart concrete factory which is something we want because it's very useful uh, rather than being the pressing module which just contains regolith which means we're wasting the regolith you can turn slag and silicon into uh, smart concrete so we desperately want desperately desperate. so anyway um, i was trying to find some wisps any wisps around i can't see oh, it's two there if i do one there, one there. Very difficult to see. That's what I wanted. H2O. That's that's ice. It's water. So we found ice on the moon, which is excellent. Any more down here? I see two down there. One there, one there. Uh, let's get... I don't really want to get either of those, if I'm honest with you. Um, there's one here as well. That's quite far away. Are there any nearby? I'd like. I'd like to find some that are nearby that we can mine to quite quickly. There's some here, so if I was to do that, we're gonna get three of them. Titanium, aluminium, silicon. Okay, so we have found all the resources. That's good. That's good. So we found titanium and aluminium, uh, silicon as well. We're gonna need more silicon. We've got lots of iron. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing uh, if you have lots of one resource because you can always sell it there's always the ability to sell stuff so you can store those stuff and just go like you know what i've got three storages of iron let's sell one storage off completely and just sell off a major amount there. um speaking of which i haven't really looked at storages um we do have we have um this is a storage for uh like this can store a regolith and uh all the oxides rare earth metals that sort of thing um, and then you have uh, the other storage which is here and this can contain things like the process materials so any of the ingots, silicon, um, it can store components, it can store basically um, anything on here can be stored in uh, one of these containers with the small exception of uh, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. These are all stored in a bulk container and I think organics, medicines and food are stored in the refrigerator. Oh, ice is also in there. It's kind of there. So yeah, uh, helium three. I also think has its own container. I'm not sure. So, but yeah. So, uh, so we want to do that. We want to do that. We want to have to. So like, this is full. This is not producing anything right now. This is full, not producing anything. So we got sixty-four um, 
uh, steel in, in here, but not in storage. So we could put it in a storage and uh, make things faster. I'm not going to do it for the minute. I'm, we're kind of trying to save resources and get things done. So uh, it'll, be, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. We'll get things going here. What I want to do is basically find the smart concrete factory, that building right there. That's all. I want this building here. Then we can expand, and increase, and change things. Uh, the upgrades um, uh, are, are a thing you add. So if I click this here, you'll see there's a button here for a module. Uh, that increases the speed by 50%. It does say on the tool tip when you research, it says uh, 30%. Speeds up the extractor mining cycle by 30%. And then the actual tool tip here says 50%. It is 50% because it goes from 20 to 30. Looks like so. you haven't built a living quarters or made a backup plan yet. It's a good thing I'm still in charge of the rescue operation, Director. We estimate that the Hope 2 survivors will land in 90 days. If you don't prepare to accommodate the crew by that time, people could die. You can try sending parts to the station, which might delay the impact and increase the probability of success of the operation by 31%. We'll uh, give you all we'll, the data and research you need. We can complete it in time. Relax. Relax. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. We're fine. So, yeah. yeah. Do whatever you want, but get the crew of Hope 2 back to your base. And if human lives aren't enough of a motivator for you, remember, your company depends on crust. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. You're playing with fire, Director. Well then, let's do the impossible without anyone else's help. We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Don't worry. Uh, anyway, uh, upgrades. Yeah, so this increases to 30. However, this only uses 20 a minute. So we want to upgrade the regular for fine to do that as well. Uh, the multi regolith one obviously changes as well so yeah okay we have 90 days left before the, we have to rescue the people from the station so we've got 90 days to build this so i'm kind of hoping we can get this researched pretty quickly i'm going to drop this send this to the right top of thing so we have 11 days to build this and then we can get some smart concrete going and try and get some mining happening faster he says so we're going to find out if we can actually do that in the next episode thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one will we run out of time uh, stick around and we'll find out until then as always have fun